All right, as you probably know, there's a lot of different techniques and, uh, and little tricks that, that people use to, to tie knots. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. Today, I just want to make it very basic for those maybe learning for the first time or, or maybe needing to brush up on their basic skills of knot tying. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to start out with a basic figure eight. Uh, I'm right-handed, so I like that the running end is in my right hand. I keep everything out in front of me so I can keep it dressed and, and, and know where, where I'm at at all times. So I've got my running in for a figure eight. I just want to drop that in down. I want to go around the back of the rope, keeping everything straight, and come out the loop. And then pull that tight, and I have my figure eight. Now I want to tie a figure eight on a bite. This is a very common knot, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, again, I've got the same setup with the running end in my right hand. Now, just like we started with the standard figure eight, uh, I'm going to have it in this position. I'm going to drop this down, keeping the rope in line. I want to get just enough so I can get a good bite, so I'm going to bring it down. Now, what I create is the same setup I had with the standard figure eight, but this one is on a bite, so I've got it in this hand. So I'm going to take this, go around the back of the rope, and bring it back through towards me. And when I pull it tight and dress it up, that's my figure eight on a bite. Now I want to tie a figure eight follow through. This is uh, pretty common for anchors and things like that. So what I want to do is start out with a basic figure eight. I want a lot of slack here so I can tie my safety hitch at the end. So I want plenty of slack. I want to drop it down, go around this one and back toward me, just like the standard figure eight. Pull the slack out. Now I have my figure eight. Now what I want to do is secure it around the object. Pull all the excess out, and what I want to do is follow through. I want to follow where it came out. So now I've got that secure. I'm going to go back in where it came out. Pull the slack. I'm going to go around, back through. And as I can see, it's going around again. And then finish out where it started. Once I get that, I'm going to pull it tight, dress it up, and if I want to tie a safety in this, I want to tie a full safety, so I want to go all the way around and finish down. Keep the safety knot close to your original knot. And that's a big, great follow through with the safety. Now I want to tie a clove hitch as I would use to place over an object for hoisting, things like that. So I want to start like I do with the running in in my right hand. And I want to do a simple overhand. And when I say overhand, just hold it out in front of you. You can see how it's laid here. And I just want to turn my hand over. There's one. I want to do that one more time. But once I get this one, I want to place it behind that one. So right there. You want to see that again? We'll have an overhand, run in on the right side, overhand, one more overhand, and place behind it. And now I can place this over my object, pull it tight, and I have a clove hitch.
Now I want to tie a clove hitch around an existing object. So what I want to do is I want to go around. And at this point, I'm going to make a cross here, an X. So I want to cross over that one, keeping everything in line. As you can see, I have an X here across. And if you'll notice, the gap here. So if I keep this good and, and uh, loose here, I'll see that uh, V is what I like to call it. So as I go around the object, I want to come back out that V. Snug it tight, and that's my clove. Then I can follow it on around, dress it up, and tie safety if I need. All right, now I want to tie a bowline. Bowline is the one you've probably heard before uh, where the rabbit goes out of the hole, around the tree, and back in the hole. Well, we'll show you that, and uh, hopefully this will make sense. So I want to start out running into my right hand. I'm going to do a simple overhand where I just turn my hand over, overhand. Now, what I have, I've created, and I want to keep everything in line and straight and neat. So now I have the hole that they call it, and here's my rabbit. They're running in, so I want to come out of the hole and around the tree that we've talked about. So around the back side of the tree and back in the hole. And when we do this, we want to see the part of the rope that came out of the hole originally. We want to pair it up with that. Once we go through, we want to match those two up, hold on to them, grab the tree, pull this tight. And that's our bowling.